We're talking to Timur Kakoski from Armored Dawn. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you. Now, formed in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Tell us all about that. I moved here about 20 years ago from Finland and been here ever since trying to survive the hotness because, you know, of course, from coming from Finland, the weather is extremely, completely diff- diff- different than anything we have in Europe and overcrowded, polluted. People are nicer. They talk more than in Europe, but, you know, you, you get used to everything. So after 20 years, I'm still still around. Okay, so formed a band in around about 2014, is that correct? How did that band come about? That that came about, uh, actually it was formed by the Raphael and Edward, our keyboard player and our singer. They they met in some rock band and uh, Edward, who's a singer, he he always wanted to have like a heavy metal. He's he's actually had another another band that he had with his friends, like since the college which play more classic rock, and he always wanted to have a band playing heavy metal, and he got interested in, interest in the Scandinavian metal scene. And he was really into that, and he he met, went to a show of Raphael in some bar here. And Raphael is an old friend of mine. When I came here, his band and my band, we played a lot of shows together, so we were always planning to do something together, but nothing never worked out. So he decided that, oh, if you, if you want to put together a band playing, playing anything Scandinavian style, let's call this guy because, you know, he's a guitar player, he's from Finland and he lives here. So they called me and we started looking looking for the other guys after. But uh, the beginning was really the keyboard and the keyboard player and singer deciding to start to put the band together. Because Brazil isn't the country that sort of conjures up images of a... Uh... Scandinavian Viking style metal band. How did that go down there? The, the, actually, the Scandinavian music is uh, heavy metal music. Uh, it's it's quite popular here among the metal people, but of course the metal scene here is still small portion of the people. But you know, m- many bands from Finland and Sweden and Norway they are quite po- quite popular here. So like bands like Stratovarius from Finland. I think in Finland they have play shows like those well, seven hundred to thousand people, and here they easily play for or five thousand. So actually, actually people have a lot of interest in Scandinavian rock music here. Just released your third album, Viking Zombie, which I listened to the other day uh, a number of times. Actually, so good, so catchy. How did um, how did this one come about? Oh, this is actually actually. But the, the first first album was more basic, more rock and roll kind of music, kind of album. And the second one, uh, after we changed our drummer to a uh, thrash metal drummer, it, it became a little bit, little bit heavier than we actually were thinking about making. So the third one, we did, we decided to do everything a little bit less heavy and more melodic. So sort so, sort of sort of try to make a music that even people who are not definitely straight into heavy metal. Even they might like to listen to, and who knows, spread spread and spread and wind the audience and get the, get more people attracted to heavy metal music as well. But for with putting putting like all, almost pop music melodies into heavy metal songs. How long did this album take to put together? In total, we spent about a year doing it, writing the songs and recording. You know, just not, you know, we have our own recording studios and rehearsal space here in Sao Paulo. So everything we need to record, you know, we just combine the time and guy guys come up to the studio and we start recording. And anything we need to change, you know, just call the guys at three in the morning to join the studio and start working. And that makes everything easy and complicated thing because you know when you don't really have any deadline that you have to finish it in, like you rent a studio for one month. You know, you know, we we didn't have that problem, so we spent too much time on doing that. And actually, actually, the the songs we had practically all the songs written when we were still touring on the second album, on the Barbarians in Black. So you, I remember we were in this tour bus in Europe, and we were already listening to all the songs that we had recorded and thinking, oh, we're gonna change this and this and this, and you know. So, but in in total, we spent about a year doing that. Now, a lot of bands can't. Uh, right on the road, but uh, you seem to be able to do that. So well done. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. I, I mean, it's a it's a it's a. You, you see, tour in Europe. It's a boring. You drive twenty hours to another town. So there's really nothing to do. You know, we don't really party that hard anymore at this age. So 
gotta, gotta do something so you can carry your guitar and your notebook and start recording something and writing songs. Back when bands used to be able to tour, now the whole the whole world's been turned upside down lately. What happens now? Oh yeah, that's a good question. We were supposed to be starting touring this month for the Viking Zombie album, but now everything is postponed. We were supposed to play around South America in Guatemala, Ecuador and Costa Rica and everything that now that's gonna happen somewhere in the end of the year, most likely like in November and that really screwed up the whole world. Everything is cancelled. I heard in Europe they're cancelling all the big festivals now and one by one they are falling down and that's a sad, sad times. I mean, I mean, for, for, for musicians, we, most of us, we learned already to save some money because, you know, there will always be times like some, some months that you don't earn anything. So you always keep a little bit extra to survive. But, you know, like the guys in the road crew, they basically live from one month to another. And so if there's no shows, they don't earn anything. And they are having the worst time of this. Crazy times we live in. Right, what's the reaction been to the album so far? I have to admit I hadn't heard much about you at all, but when I did hear this album, I really liked it and I kept playing it. So what's the what's the reaction elsewhere been so far? Most mostly positive reaction that we heard. It was the same, same as when we, I remember when we went to tour with Saxon in Europe and it's the same thing, most of the people had never heard of us. So for the first first two songs, the guys were like, like standing in front of the stage looking at what the hell is this, but suddenly they start jumping and screaming and try to sing the songs that they never heard in their lives. But I think m- most people seem, seem to like the songs. I think it's, it, it, it helps that they are kind, kind of, I, I think the melodies basically help. So pe- people can understand each of the songs because we didn't, we didn't write anything too complicated and too heavy to understand. So I, I think it's, mostly positive reaction that we are getting of course there's some people that are never happy with anything but that that's a small minority anyway so things are going pretty well excellent i think you will do very well let's talk about a time when you could actually go out on the road and tour what's the funniest thing that's happened on tour funny funniest thing uh this this uh, actually it's, it was funny for everybody except one, for one guy. This this didn't happen with Armor Dawn. This happened with an other band that I was playing here in South America. We were touring in Bolivia and we were traveling from one town to another. And with the bus, it takes about 20 hours. And between these two towns, there's practically nowhere to stop. There's no gasoline stations. There's no toilets where to go. And there's one guy that. See, he ate something that didn't, didn't go so well. And, you know, he really, really, really needed to go to the toilet. And so we said the bus driver to stop that if you find, find like a forest or something, at the stop there. And that, yeah, okay, but the, the next time we are into like a forest, going to be like in six or seven hours. So, but we are in the mountains that <laughs> we three go out there. And <laughs> so the guy just went to behind the bus and of course, as as nobody's prepared for this, he was there out without toilet paper behind the small stone. <laughs> Luck, luckily for him, nobody was doing Facebook Live or anything of that, but we could have done. Next time we're going to do that. Ah, uh, right. Uh, unreal. One, one, one could be interesting to, to start. So I think if, if someday we could, we might take the band to Australia to play because, you know, that's a Really cool country. I've been there just once traveling with my wife. So that's, that's really, really, that would be really, really cool to bring the band over there one day. Timo Karkowski from Brazilian band Armored Dawn. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. Excellent, excellent new album out, Viking Zombie. Wish you all the very best of that and hope to see the band out there on the road when this all calms down. Well, hoping it won't take too long anymore. Um, really, really really bored of sitting at home so it'd be really cool to hit the road again and hopefully in australia also some some of these days hey timo thanks for uh talking to me mate you uh you uh have a great day and stay safe and uh back out on the road again when it all um sorts itself out yeah take care bye